Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. You're live on Tech TV. My name is Emmanuel and I am We're coming to you live from the Great Hall of KNUSD. And uh, we're just having the fifth graduation ceremony of the Ministry of Health Training Institute. And the convocation is about to get in. Meanwhile, the students are well seated waiting for the convocation to get in and the program will proceed. And so we have the convocation now coming, and this constitutes a lecturer's head of departments, provosts, heads of the various training institutions. So these people are followed by the entourage, which constitutes the vice chancellor. So today, Monday, January 28, 2019, we are having Nursing and Midwifery Training College, former St. Gregoire, SDA Nursing and Midwifery Training College, Asanta, Nursing and Midwifery Training College, Kolebu, College of Nursing and Midwifery, Naliligu, Nursing Training College, Laura, Bali Nursing and Midwifery Training College, Community Doma Ahinko, School of Hygiene, Kolebu, School of Public Health, Kolebu, School of Hygiene, Tamale, St. John of God Training College, St. John of God College of Health, Diayan Kwanta. These training institutions are graduating this morning. Thank you. 
competences for service delivery. We therefore want to thank them sincerely for this work that they have done. We are particularly delighted as an employer because our staff and potential staff, those of you who are yet to join us as employees, have been equipped and empowered with knowledge, skills, and attitudes that will enable you to provide quality health services to our dear clients. Your employer and your clients have high hopes in you and they expect a lot from you when you return to work. So, so we are done with the morning section and uh, convocation just left the main hall. So as you can see at the background, that is the convocation leaving the hall. And graduates are just going to leave the hall and continue the celebration with their parents. But we are going to have interaction with some of the graduates now to find out from them how they feel and uh, what's the expectation from the government because now that they are going to wait for their uh, postings. Any Sakumbi, Tamal Community Health Nursing. Praying that the government should um, at least post us then we'll start working because now the system is very hard. You know, payment of the school fees wasn't easy, so I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, I'm Donko Patrick Kineko. I completed a community health nursing training college, Tamale. Uh, we expect that the government, as you know, so far as we have graduated from KNUST, he, he has to do his possible best to, I mean, uh, post us so that uh, we also earn something at the end of every month. I'm Paul Barney. Tamale community. Oh, already I'm in the fold. So as I've learned here, I'm going to build up my best in the community and I'll improve on the skills I have acquired and then the knowledge to make it better for the communities to benefit from my knowledge. That is what I have for them. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you too. I Elizabeth from Public Health, Accra, Kolibu. Now that we have graduated, we are expecting the government to at least turn to the health profession because now the gov uh, all the health sectors are there with shortage of nurses. So we are pleading to the government so that they will post us as early as much as possible to go and save the life of people out there. My name is Dr. Um, Kafri Glover and I completed from um, NM NMTC Kolibu training. I'm expecting great things from God because God, God has done so much for me that if it hasn't been him, I don't know what would have happened to me. I don't know whether I would have completed or not. But by his grace, I've been able to finish and I'm praying that we'll get a job after the, I mean, after this session. Betty Dangma from Kolebu NTC. Yes, we are hoping that the government, just as they've promised us jobs, <laughs> they do as they have promised, exactly, because as we've passed out, we are also looking forward to work for the government because they've trained us, so we want to work for them. Then they will employ us and they will pay us big money. My name is Henry Labi, and I'm the principal of the Belatasitious Prosthetics and Orthotics Training College at Insawam. And looking at it, the 2016 graduates are those who are being recruited as of now, in February. So definitely, the next group are going to be 2017, which probably maybe by the time the year goes to an end, they will then go. Then this batch will complete in 2018, will be the next group. Currently, they are all doing their, their national service. So it's, it's a long delaying, uh -huh, because most of them will finish their national service either in October or next year, uh, January or February. So by the time they finish with their national service, they will be due for that recruitment, which is in line with uh, the new directive by the Minister of Health. So uh, why then do we have some nurses going to the Flaster House demonstrating that they've not been employed? That, that was then. That was then. Because they had a lot of backlog. I, I can tell you that they have gotten a lot of financial clearance. The medical doctors and then the enrolled nurses are those who are currently doing it. As I'm talking to you now, they are doing their, 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 their recruitment. The next are going to be the diploma people who completed in 2016, which is in this February, this coming February. So um, I might not foresee that we might have nurses packaging at the Flagstaff House or at the Minister of Health for, for posting, no. Tech TV, experience educational television.